Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. We're down in the service department today. Stick with us because we have a remodel show to show you. Coach 1223 is in, in the house and they're gonna do a reimagining on that coach. So stick with us. We're gonna walk all the way to the end of service and take a look at the coach with the before show because I want you to see what it looks like today and then in five, six months, what it looks like then. We'll probably do a check-in show also. But I know, I know how you guys, and I love doing these remodel reimagining shows. So I was just looking at all of the um, work orders of all of the coaches that are, are in or on their way. And so as you can see uh, behind me here, John, I'm gonna let you hold right there. There is a ton going on here in service. So lots of coaches. So we're gonna walk the block and end up at Coach 1223. So hope everyone had a good weekend. It's a busy Monday at Marathon. So lots of coaches, Coach 988 here. You know, all kinds of different eras. That's one of the cool things that we've seen over our time of Marathon Mondays is uh, Coach 1207 right there. Uh, lots of different eras of coach from new ones, getting post-production items uh, installed or implemented, and um, coaches from a few years ago, that's 1221, we just walked by, to coaches that have been uh, on the road for 20, 25 years. Uh, Coach 1287 right there. You know, all kinds of upgrades, as you can see right here. Uh, this coach is getting a... He's right, I'm wrong. <laughs> Chuck would know too. But right there, there's a wine guard, uh, direct TV, wine guard sitting there, 1194. That's a cool coach. But anyway, um, coach 1280. And here we are at our subject of the day. This is 1223. And this is going to be a really cool remodel. And it's not really a remodel, but it's a reimagining of certain elements of this coach because it's such a beautiful coach. John, why don't you come over here? and get kind of a long shot of the side. Some of you have seen this coach on the road. And also another thing, if you visit Marathon and take the tour, there's a whole wall of photos of Coach 1223 upstairs uh, right outside of engineering uh, with this coach and the interior of this coach. Uh, but I love this paint job. This is a paint job that will never go out of style. These colors and the style of it, it's beautiful stuff and good texturing. And all that white swooping around in there, I like that. You guys know I like a lot of white in a coach. Okay, one of the number one things that we're gonna do on 1223, I'm gonna show you right now. This is something I really haven't seen H3 owners do, but I think modernizes a coach to some extent. This is not massively important, but look at this. See how this fender is here? This is a fender from this era. This is a fender from, let's just say, eight to 10 years ago. So it's got that kind of that vintage Corvette flair to it. I can't remember what anyone calls it, but it's gonna be the newer fender on this coach that will modernize this coach to some extent for the owner. Also, headlights, going with the newer style front end headlights on this coach will really give it that look of it's upgraded to a newer, a newer style. But I really like the idea of uh, changing those out. And this is not something that's really easy. You can't, it's not just a paint them to match and plug and play. There are all kinds of different things. Um, Kurt and Chris were talking about it this morning. There's all kinds of different things that come into play when you are changing out these fenders. And John, you might not be able to tuck all the way in here, but this is a big piece. It goes from right here to right here. You see how far and how large that is. And so one of the things is you gotta change this whole thing if you want that more modern fender on your coach. Also, I want you to take a look at this. See this right here? This is not grabbing anymore. There's a pin inside 
and that pin gets held in. Well, that pin isn't holding anymore. So it's another thing that was bothering the owner. And so, of course, he brought it back to um, the original manufacturer, Marathon Coach, here in Coburg. Watch your back there, John. So anyway, that's what's going on with these fenders. And I wanted to make sure that we concentrated heavily on that because that's going to be a really big upgrade for this coach, 1223. Now, let's go inside. John, I'm gonna let you walk all the way in, into the salon, and then we'll go over some things that are being worked on. Another thing that I forgot to mention while we were outside is, we're gonna chrome those wheels, you guys. Polished aluminum is great, but chroming them really will help with the upkeep, and also that pop will just be something else so new fenders and chroming the wheels that'll be pretty sweet um i wrote down the list of things after meeting i actually got to meet with the owner uh, and a friend of his who came all the way out here and that's another important thing i want to point out when you're doing these imagining a uh, reimagining of a coach uh, or you're remodeling a coach in my opinion the most important thing you can do is bring it back here. Now, if you're doing little things, you know, that aren't so, you know, when you're doing them at home or you're doing them, uh, you know, with somebody else, that's one thing. But when you're doing big things like new upholstery, new floor, uh, change, you know, changing the paint like you would be doing with these new fenders, I think one of the more important things is tip bringing it back to Coburg, bringing it back to Oregon, Texas, or Florida. All three of our centers can do these remodels and bringing it to the original manufacturer is something that is really going to uh, add to the longevity of the product. And another thing since we're talking about that is for you coach owners out there that have um, older coaches that don't have the iPad integration, you're still working with the um, Crestron um, heavier tablets, which work just fine, but if you are thinking about going iPads, do yourself a favor. Come back to Marathon. Florida, Texas, or Oregon can do this service for you. Getting the iPad integration is so much, it's easier, it's better. It also gives you a full update to everything in the coach when it comes to uh, the, uh, the um, audio visual and also being able to man manipulate the blinds and the lights and the air conditioning and the generator. These things are very important to be done with Marathon's um, own program on these iPads. So having somebody else do it uh, makes it almost to the point where Marathon can't work on it or at least not as easy. Okay, PSA service is over. Now let's get into what we're doing. Here we are. 1223. This is a great coach, you guys. Um, I got to spend some time, like I said earlier, with the owner in this coach. One of the things they're going to do is there's some green in this coach, and I'm not sure why, but that green is going to get eliminated. And I think it's a great choice. See this sofa? Completely going to go leather. All new sofa is going to be installed. What year is it? Isn't that great? So that's another thing that is really going to spice up this salon. Also, take a look at this, you guys. This dinette seat back. That seat back is really going to pop with a whole new fabric. I'm not quite sure yet on the selection. I know Jamie up in our um, design team is helping uh, the owner so that's going to be really nice also i think uh this has been selected to change out it matches the sofa fairly well but i think it's going to be uh something a little bit more neutral something a little bit more modern and so that'll be nice to change those balances out i like this and remember this is a quad so tons of room um one of the things that really stands out to me about this coach that I love about this floor plan is that fireplace and how it is set up. It's not just set up with a fireplace in a squared off uh, cabinet. 
I like how it's tilted. I like how you actually have a step here and the, the stonework around it, it's framed in the same stonework that is on the floor because this floor has a hardwood and tile work that flows through it. Isn't that great? Uh, someone asked earlier what, what a year, I believe this is a 2016. Don't quote me, but quote me. All right. On another thing, John, if you want to back up a little bit, is the split galley. When you're dealing with a quad, you're dealing with a slide out. This is a slide out right here. So um, this is a good way to achieve, still with a quad, a large galley. It's a nice big sink too. Okay, what else are we doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Speaking of this, um, we're doing something with these um, InstaHot features. I don't know if we're eliminating them. That's, I would assume that's what they're doing. So uh, let's go to the bedroom and take a look. Look at the, uh, the carpet in here. It's still in excellent condition. Um, the owner did tell me that a, a couple of times they've had it restretched and laid down and the carpet is still in excellent condition, but this carpet is going to get replaced. So instead of, um, keeping it, which they very well could because the carpet looks like it's in good shape, they are going to replace it. So that's pretty cool. Um, a new bedspread. Um, this is not the original bedspread that came on the coach, but uh, the owner wanted a new bedspread to go on here. So uh, our design team is working on an elegant piece to, that's going to correlate with the, uh, the new flooring and all the new themes. And part of that new theme in this bedroom is that bench. Now that is green. Now you look at this entire wall and why was that originally chose as green? I don't know. But the new owner or the owner wants to uh, put a put a whole new fabric in there. And I think that's a really great choice um, to do because it's just a little piece. But when you walk into this bedroom, if you don't like that green, it'll really stand out to get it green. And also, I think they're going to change that. The, I would assume. No, we don't want to do that one. We'll do this one. Um, I would assume they're also going to change out the cover of the commode. Very cool. Very cool. John, you take a look at the tile work in that shower. Very cool. I like it. Also, you see this artwork here that's on the wall. Uh, there's artwork there. There's artwork probably in a couple of different locations, including if we shut this door, there might be some here. But I know there's three pictures right here. One, two, and three. Another thing we're going to assist the owners with is replacing the artwork that is in here. I'm not sure if it's going to be more of a personal touch or just um, addition or uh, artwork that's more applicable to the uh, current owners. So that's what's going on with 1223. I'm pretty excited about it, uh, especially after meeting with the owners um, just this last week. It's really going to be something that really spices up this coach. I like these, uh, these um, ottomans also. These are those Ottomans, you guys, that also can act as cocktail tables. I like that. That's a good feature. Well, should we take some questions? You got some questions, Abigail? All right, Abigail's got some questions. Let's stand right here in the salon. What do you got, Abigail? Oh, oh, another thing. I almost forgot. Look at this. This is a, another thing that modernizes this floor plan. Not only uh, are they getting a new sofa, but that new sofa is going to be integrated without arms. So they're not going to have arms. You see, this sofa was built here in this building, but it has that feel and look of kind of a commercial off the shelf look. What it's going to do is it's going to flow right into the dinette. We're going to remove the arms, I believe, on both sides. But if you have this arm here, it's not really a flow into the dinette. So that's one thing we're doing by building the new um, sofa. Okay, what do you got for me? Yes. 
Good, great. Okay. Um, is the emergency escape from the window in the bedroom behind the TV? If so, does the TV impede using the window as an escape? Okay, let's go back here and show. So by law, and this has that 50 inch curved smart Samsung. That's really cool. By law, you have to have the ability to get out both sides of the coach in the front and the back. And that's one of the things about Prevo. You guys know about the safety of a Prevo. And so we're not going to change that as a manufacturer. We're actually going to build on that. So yes, you can get out this egress right here. Just um, the emergency exit is on both sides here and both sides up there. Good question. I appreciate it. Let's move on. Excellent. What else you got? Yeah, uh, someone asked, is this the Cayman floor plan? What a good question. I have no idea. Great. I have no idea. Who asks if this is the Cayman? Uh, Someone's looking at the brochure. His name is uh, Michael. I don't want to uh, missay his uh, last name. A Scant. Okay. But, well, uh, that is a darn good yeah. question. I'm going to find out w exactly what floor plan this is. Um, this could be the Grand Cayman. I don't think so. Um, I don't think it is because the Grand Cayman is still a current. Well, it could be. It could be. I'll tell you what. I'll find out. And for the next show that we do, um, we're going we're gonna to jump into it. Another thing I want to show you, the previous owners, not the current owners, but the previous owners. This is the original. This is kind of a cool little story. This is the original lamp that was in this coach. But what they decided to do was they took the additional tile from the floor and the fireplace and they mounted it in kind of a box style around this so that the lamp actually matches the flooring, which is kind of cool, but the current owners don't like it. I personally agree with the current owners because this takes up a lot of space. So this lamp going away. But it is cool that the previous owners of this coach decided to um, kind of customize their own lamp, which is kind of neat. Uh, real quick, Michael said that. Talk um, to me. He said, no, he, he's not like specifically familiar, but he said that um, he just remembers from your show and that the last Cayman floor plan had the snow leopard print that uh, you, you chatted about in the Marathon Mondays of Mel. I, and I appreciate that, Michael. I love uh, these quad floor plans. The Super Bath, of course, a game changer for Marathon. Um, the Jackson Hole um, is one that we've shown a lot, but there's variants off of all of our floor plans. But that Super Bath Quad Slide Marathon floor plan is arguably the best floor plan ever created in an RV in the history of the world. You don't lose anything. You don't lose storage. You don't lose a bath because you still get a bath and a half. But what you achieve in that bath and a half is a super bath and a half because that rear bath has those two sinks, a large, a, a whole large vanity. So you've got storage above and below. And then you've got a commode. You've got a large shower. And what I mean large shower is that when you look at most showers that are in a marathons, the super bath shower is larger than even those. Then you've got a four foot hanger bar additional at the very end. You've got an additional um, uh, a closet, excuse me. You have a closet back there, which is great, but that's not it. Then you have behind the commode, a hidden washer dryer. The super bath in the marathon quad slide is amazing. And of course, we all love those double doors that close and you can hit the button and go liquid crystal or not. So that's pretty cool. Um, another question is where is the washer and dryer in this coach? If there is one. There is a washer and dryer in this coach. And I believe, not to tell tales out of school, it's right here. So... It's past, it's in the hallway. It's in the proper space in this coach. So it's right next to a closet or kind of a storage facility here, but it's across from this um, water closet. So you've got a bath and a half 
in this coach as you can see but yeah you've got it right here so you can do your laundry and take it into your closets in this coach this is a fantastic coach um and this coach being you know i think eight nine years old you can see that there's a ton of things that are still being utilized today a ton of things that are um still current and one of the things that uh the owner is doing or, or several of the things that the owners are doing is just going to modernize it not just for the market he's modernizing it for himself and his enjoyment and the travels that they are going to take uh, as a family so that's really great all right are we good to go you got one more uno mas it is a bit of a technical question. So. Oh, technically speaking, let's get it. Let's get into it. Okay. What are the water tank capacities? Fresh, gray, and black. Who's asking that question? Uh, his name is Scott Calvin. But what not a great question. But not from the Santa Claus. <laughs> what a great question. So it depends. It depends. And there's a manual in this coach that gives you exactly your levels. So. I always look at that manual. When I look go into a coach, the manual always stays, but also it's on your Crestron system um, with your tank levels. So looking at, you know, uh, your fresh water, your gray, your black, it, it changes with every coach. So, um, yeah, that's all I can say is it's right there in the manual. I always look at that. I don't know off the top of my head what this one is. Maybe Dave Bash. So Dave Bash would not know. He'd also oh, have to check. Never he would that. be able to guess. So, but Dave Bash would probably uh, be able to guess closer than I would. So. We actually have one more. Oh yeah. I'm not sure what this means. What paint line do y'all use? Paint line. Paint line. So what he means is what brand of paint uh, are we yeah, using? What paint line? So what paint line is, uh, it all depends on the application. There's another thing. So uh, it depends on what we're doing with the paint, how customized it needs to be, how, what type of paint we're using, what stage. Uh, I will tell you that for, mo for the most part, uh, historically we've used BASF as a paint line um so but i know that we've in the last 6 12 24 months we've used several different paint brands for our marathon coaches and it also it, it just depends on how elaborate that paint is how you know what type of paint you're you're going to be applying um on the coach let's go outside This cockpit's nice too, John. It's warm in here. Well, yeah, all good questions today, you guys. And that's one of the things uh, about doing, oh yeah, and Abigail gave me a Japanese Kit Kat acquired from the Japanese grocery store in Portland. For those of you who need your Kit Kats, foreign um it, oh it's it's white chocolate white chocolate fontine white chocolate fontine we'll be trying this later <laughs> you ever had white chocolate fontine i can't even spell it so don't even ask me fontine exactly so anyway everybody um last thing i'm going to say for today's show before we wrap it up if you're coming into our Florida, Texas, or here at the mothership to get your coach serviced, remodeled, uh, anything like that, please call. Calling the service centers will really help you be prepared and help them prepared for you arriving. So let's say you call the heavenly hands of Rob Angelo right here. There he is. And uh, you, need, you need a new floor mat. Rob will make sure that that floor mat is in stock and ready to go because you know what? We have several colors of those floor mats. So things like that. It's all about preparedness, not just for you and making sure you have an appointment with us, but making sure that we're prepared to receive you and making sure that if there's any parts that need to be ordered or any techs that need to be quarantined to work on your coach and not, not another, then they'll be prepared. So anyway... The recess bell is over. It's time to get back. It's May 1st. We got a lot going on this summer. So uh, 
What's that? Happy May Day. Yeah, May Day. It's May Day, and in four days, it's May the 4th, as in May the 4th be with you, a Star Wars celebration. And John will show you right behind you that Marathon, as a, as a company, will be celebrating it. Um, there will be a group photo, which should be interesting. So that means I actually have to dress up. Okay. Be yourself and do good things, you guys. Take care of each other. I will see you next Monday. I'm going to be right here. Uh, this is a busy week here at Marathon, and uh, this is a busy week for you guys, too. So give me some feedback. Mal W at MarathonCoach.com. That's M-A-L-W at MarathonCoach.com. Reach out to me and let me know what you think about um, Japanese Kit Kats. I'm out. <laughs>